Hi guys, Snake Venom here, and welcome to another video. And in this episode, I am in a flat world, flat world survival. I've been on this for a while now, but the sun is going down. I don't want to lose my levels. I don't want to lose anything. And then I came across this. What is what this is? I have no idea. Let's see. Input anything plus level. Sponge, you can't get sponge. Oh, I know what this is now. This is the XP storage system. Let's try it out. Uh, I have 22, so let's see if I can get 22. Let's see what happens. Oh, I'm getting sponge. I am getting sponge. And my levels are going down. 20, 21, 22. Perfect. Right, let's see. Oh, let's, let's just go for this one. What do we want stored away? This, for example. Uh, all of this. Let's see if I have space for all of it. No, what do I not want? I don't need this. Right. Let's close this. Nice. And hopefully we can take another one. Close. Can take another one. Oh well. The loss of few sticks and bones. Not really that hard much. Let's see if I can open this now. Didn't get killed, which is good. Apparently I can open it. And I can take all of my stuff out. Nothing has gone missing. But I do still want my levels back. Maybe this is it. Input sponge. Let's wait and see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 15. Am I going to get 22? Yes, I am. So there we go. That is basically the demonstration for the whole thing. So what this is now, let's just quickly go into creative, easier to explain. So you can put in the number of blocks you want turned into sponge. And this is basically the opposite thing. And this is the XP or level storage system. So how this works. When I press the button close, it will take all my previous levels away and give me exactly 5001. And when I open it, it will give me none back. Same goes for this one, for example. There we go, opened. Now, how does this work? Well, over here, we have the blocks turn into a level thingy. So we put the blocks into here. That will go into this. Now this has two uses. A, it uh, this compares if there is a block in there, it will start the clock. And then the item is going, and that obviously means this that uh, the signal is going into this dropper, and that will drop it into here. And the materials are going to be pushed here and around and into that. But at the same time, the clock activates this command block. Now what this does is test if the nearest player has um, some sort of level. If it has, like right now, not like now, hang on. I uh, need to put it in here. So now it will not work properly because it didn't update. But now if I try to put anything something in there, it won't work. 
So, going on, so this deactivates, which deactivates this, so these command blocks can be powered and give a signal uh, an output. That's what this is for. So the signal goes around here, that in the item form, and then this will pulse. And it will pulse slowly enough for the command box to activate and fast enough for the command box to turn off. And this gives me the sponge, and this one retracts one level for me. Now here we have the um, sponge into levels part. So, same basic setup here. And then, instead of... <coughs> um, what's it, what do we want to call it? Instead of, you know... Um, giving and retracting uh, blocks. This takes the sponge, and then it goes into this mechanism, which basically is, well, nothing else than a sorting system. And this, and then it goes into this dropper and drops the th stuff into the lava, so it, it goes away. This and this block is important because that gives the player one level. So this is a one-to-one -one ratio and the good thing about this is that it can be used in multiplayer maps on the server for example. Uh, so you can give players sponge instead of levels and therefore you don't have to die to give your friend the XP or levels. Just give him the sponge. And this is the mechanism behind all of the of the opening and closing system. I have one example right here, and this is how it works. Closing. Very basic. This checks if I have um, if I already have one by basically checking if the I have more than 5,000 levels then it goes into one um, uh, RS null latch or memory latch this then retracts a lot so I don't have anything before that and this gives me exactly 5,001 and then it goes into another arsenal latch and closes this. Now the opening system. This is a... I don't really... I think... Well I don't know the exact name but basically what it does every time the signal changes it gives an output. And the reason for this and why not just use the button is that this checks if I have um, at least 5001 and this checks if I have at maximum 5001 and when I activate this the compare and so this activates for example if I have 5001 but then there's a problem because even when this signal turns off, the comparator won't. So, to get rid of some nasty bugs with this, this will act activate twice. So, let's quickly close this. So, when it activates twice, it will turn this off. And then this gets rid of all of my previous XP, and this turns this RS null latch back to the state it is in now and this means that it whoops will open the door now there is a problem with this as you can see it is rather large but it's you know one wide it's stackable sort of you need one place in the middle or actually it ne if you think of it as you know one unit it's uh, one wide but you need at least 
one block in between each one or otherwise you are going to be able to grab the your neighbor's chest and that isn't good now since this is rather large didn't like it had a lot of unnecessary stuff I figured well let's just make it smaller and here it is this is the smaller version this is the original version and as you can see this is a lot smaller than this what did I change? well basically I got rid of this or snow latch I got rid of a lot of hair and I basically removed all of this around here so this is 150 blocks smaller than this one and but this it's the same principle so you open it oh, sorry close it and then you open it and that is all for this episode and I thank you for tuning in don't forget to like comment subscribe and I will see you next time bye bye